Okay, good evening and welcome to the Tewksbury Conservation Commission meeting of September 2nd, 2020. Um, due to the recent open meeting law policy set forth by the governor and the current state of emergency, the meeting will be held as a virtual meeting. I'm going to re reiterate this number numerous times throughout the meeting. Call in people should call in for 978-771-0819. Okay, first item on the agenda is minutes. We have the minutes from May 13th. Any questions or can I have a motion to approve the minutes of May 13th? I have no questions. <clears throat> Okay, can I okay, can I have a motion to approve the minutes of May thirteenth? So moved. Can I have a second? Second. Mr. McMullen, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Ronan, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Sheehan, how do you vote? Aye. And the chair votes aye as well. Now we have minutes for uh June tenth. Uh any questions on the minutes from June tenth? No questions. No question. Okay. All right. Can I have a motion to approve the minutes for June tenth? So moved. Can I have a second. Okay. Second. Mr. McMullen, how do you vote? Aye. Uh, Mr. Ronan, how do you vote? Aye. <coughs> Mr. Sheehan, how do you vote? Aye. Chair votes aye as well. Uh, that's the last of the minutes that I have. Uh, I don't have any minutes for July fifteenth or August twelfth. Stefania, they weren't in our packets, were they? Uh, no, we don't have them yet. Okay. All right, we're going to go to item A. It's a continued meeting from public meeting from 11 12 2020, a public hearing notice of intent. Kazajian Enterprises, 2512 Main Street, Map 94, Lot 65, DEP number 305 1111. This applicant has requested a continuance to our September 16th meeting, 2020. So can I have a motion to that effect? So moved. Can I have a second? Second. Mr. Ro uh, Mr. McMullen, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Ronan, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Sheehan, how do you vote? Aye. And chair votes aye as well. That motion, that uh, meeting will be continued in on our September 16th meeting. Next on the agenda is item B, continued from uh, August 12, 2020, public hearing, notice of intent, James N. Della, Pine and Whipple, LLC, 181 Pine Street, Lot 3, Mackenzie Way, Map 45, Lot 1, DEP number 3051119. Is there anyone here for that? Hi, Mr. Chairman. Jim Andella here. How are you doing, James? Pretty good day, uh, sir. Well, before you go ahead, I want to wish you the condolences for your mother. Thank you, sir. You're more than welcome. Okay, the floor is yours, sir. Well, we're here. We finally got a DEP number for DEP number 3051119 for lot three. Um, okay. Ken Kenzie Marie Way. It's. Mm -hmm. For some reason, we couldn't get a DEP number for that one, probably because of the COVID problem we've been having. Lots two and three, last meeting, the board approved them. This is a basic lot. It's uh, barely touches the house, the 100 foot buffer. Uh, hey, one, co one corner is like 90 feet. The board, the chairman asked to put all three on one piece of paper, and we did. Okay. So I have nothing else to add. Just looking for the blessing from the board. Okay, Stefania, any issues? No, I have nothing new to add. Okay, board members, any issue? I think we we, please, we approved the other lots in the previous meeting. I have no questions, sir, Mr. Chairman. No questions, Mr. Chairman. Um, no questions, but I have recused myself from this hearing. Oh, okay, that's right. Uh, make note in the in the minutes that uh, Mr. Runner said recused himself. Uh, the chair has no questions. I think we were just waiting for a DEP number. This is a public hearing. I'll open it up to the public. If somebody in the public would like to speak, uh, please call in 978-771-0819. And we'll wait a couple of minutes to see if we get any calls. Well, 
Brian, let me know if we have somebody, okay? Sure thing. I say his name. You think we're caught up, Brian? I do, and we have no callers, Mr. Chief. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to make a motion to close the public hearing for James M. Della Pi, uh, Pine and Whipple, LLC, 181 Pine Street, Lot 3, McKenzie Way, Map 45, Lot 1, <laughs> DDP number 3051119. Can I have a motion to close the public hearing? So moved. Can I have a second? Okay. Okay. Mr. McMullen, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Sheehan, how do you vote? Aye. Chair votes aye as well. Now I'll entertain a motion to approve the notice of intent for James and Della Pine and Whipple LLC, 181 Pine Street, Lot 3 of Mackenzie Marie Way, Map 45, Lot 1, DEP number 3051119. Can I have a motion to that effect? So moved. I have a second. Second. Okay, Mr. McMullen, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Sheehan, how do you vote? Aye. And she votes aye as well. Thank you, Mr. Andbeller. Again, I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you me, very much. I appreciate me, it. And thank me you, too. Thank Me you, too, Mr. Jim. Thank sorry you. Much, Mom. I appreciate it. Have All right. Next. Night. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next on the agenda is item C. This is a request for determination of applicability. Ginsburg Realty Group, 180 Pawn Street, Map 30, Lot 64. This applicant also requesting a continuance to September 16th, 2020. Uh, so that won't be heard tonight. So can I have a motion to continue this public hearing? So moved. Can I have a second? Second. Okay. Uh, please note that Mr. Ronan is back, I assume. I am. Okay. Mr. McMullen, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Ronan, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Sheehan, how do you vote? Aye. Chair votes aye as well. Uh, so that, that uh, public hearing will continue to our next meeting. Okay, item D, public hearing. Notice of intent, Town of Tewksbury, Molly Drive, Hill Street, Map 97, Lot 1, DEP number 3051118. Is there anyone here for that? Yes, Don Kirkland. Okay, Don. Okay, I think uh, the floor is yours, and I think we were just waiting for DEP number, if I remember correctly. Yes, sir, that's correct. I think uh, we addressed all the concerns of the commission, and uh, very simply, there were some railroad ties that were left on town-owned property. We want to remove those ties and get rid of impacted soil underneath those ties. Okay. Uh, and it's next to the Shawsheen River, which is why we're in front of you right now. All right. Stefania, any issues? No issues. I would recommend two conditions uh, if an order of conditions is issued tonight. And that okay. would be just to um, set up a pre-construction meeting with myself prior to work starting. And then the second one would be to um, delineate like a clear and visible limit of work so that um, we can prevent any encroachment into the um, bordering wetlands since it is pretty close. Uh, we just want to make sure that um, everyone's aware of kind of where the wetlands are and where the limit of work is. Okay. All right. That's reasonable. Uh, board members. Sounds good to me. I agree. Question. Okay. This is a public meeting. Again, the phone number is 978-771-0819. If anybody from the public has any input or any questions on this project, could you please give us a call? We'll wait uh, a minute or so and see if we have any callers. Brian, let me know if we have any callers and let me know when we can come when we're caught up. Sure thing.
I think we're safe to proceed, Mr. Chairman. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, uh, since there were no callers, I'm going to make a motion and entertain a motion to close the public hearing. So move. Can I have a second? Okay. Uh, Mr. McMillan, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Ronan, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Sheehan, how do you vote? Aye. Chair votes aye as well. Now I'm going to entertain a motion. Um, we, what do we need? A negative determination, Stefania? Uh, no, so it's a notice of intent. So you'll um, approve the notice of intent, issue an order of conditions with any conditions. Oh, wait a minute. I'm on the Okay. Yeah, notice of intent. Okay. I'll entertain a motion to approve uh, the town of Tewksbury. <laughs> Molly Drive, Hill Street, Map 97, Lot 1, DEP 305-1118, with the standard order for conditions to include a pre-construction meeting with our conservation agent and a plan for limited of the work area. Uh, any additions? Hearing none, uh, I'll entertain a motion to that effect. So moved. I have a second. Second. Okay, Mr. McMullen, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Sh Ronan, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Sheehan, how do you vote? Aye. Okay, chair votes aye as well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a great okay. night. Okay. Now we're on to item E. Uh, continue from <clears throat> August 12th, public hearing request for determination of applicability. Clary Kuto, Coolest Commuter Service, Director of NENV Railroads Right of Way. The applicant is requesting a continuance to October 21st, 2020. Hmm. It seems quite a ways, but all right. Can I have a motion to that effect? So moved. Have a second. Second. Mr. McMullen, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Sh uh, Ronan, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Sheehan, how do you vote? Aye. Chair votes aye as well. All right. Item F, public hearing request for determination of lack of ability. Patricia, Patricia Nicolora, 153 Whipple Road, Map 9, Lot 84. Is there anyone here for that? Anyone here for that? All right. Um, I think we're going to have to. There's no one on the line for this. Maybe we should table it a little, see if maybe they're having trouble. Uh, I think that's what we're going to do, we'll table it and, and figure out. Uh, all right. Let's skip over that one. I don't think we need a motion to skip over. We'll just come right back. Okay. Um, uh, Mr. Chairman, we, we have the person calling in. Um, she's using the resident okay. number. I believe she's the applicant. Okay. Uh, can you please mute your TV? Hello? Ms. Nicoloro, are you there? Okay, we seem to have lost it, so we'll move on to the next one. We, she, we have her, Mr. Chairman. You do have her? Yes, I'm right here. I'm okay. Nicolora. All right. Uh, just state, uh, state your name and address, just for the record. Okay. I didn't know whether or not I was supposed to call in. Uh, well, yes, you can call in because you're the applicant. Okay. So, uh, just, you just state, you state your name and address. Uh, Patricia Nicolora, 153 Whipple Road, Tuxbury, Mass. Okay. That's just for the record. Now, the floor is yours. You can tell us what you're trying to do. Uh, well, we're, we're, uh, trying to, the deck that we have, uh, on the, on the back of the house right now is actually falling apart. Um, and so what we're trying to do is 
Stefania, any issues? Uh, no, I don't have any issues. Um, the, it, they had to come because it was within 50 feet of the wetland, so it wasn't considered an exempt activity, um, but there is a deck there, so they'll just be replacing what's there and then um, extending it, so I don't have any problems. Okay, and they're, they're quite far away, especially when you see the distance from, it says 51 feet, but the distance... Because they, uh, I think it was flag marker 22. I think that's even further away from the house, from where the, where the deck is being proposed. Uh, board members, any questions? No, I have no questions, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> no questions either. No questions, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Yeah. And I don't have any questions, and I don't see. So, uh, this is not a public hearing. It is oh, a public hearing. It is a public hearing? Yes. It doesn't say public hearing on this. All right. Well, we're going to open it up to the public. So, the phone number again is 978-771-0819. Uh, we'll hang on a minute, Brian. Let me know if we have any calls. We'll do, Mr. Chairman, but... It it might be difficult because she's using that phone line, so oh, I, I would have to drop up. her. Should I hang up? Yeah, I'll yeah. hang up. Okay, thank you. So when we have an applicant that calls in, is there a separate number for that or is it the same number? Uh, well, they get the invitation to join the same okay. invitation that we get. So um, I think maybe they just maybe there was a miscommunication of how to join. Okay. <clears throat> you think we're caught up, Brian? I do, Mr. Chairman. Okay. All right. I'm going to entertain a motion to close the public hearing for the termination of equability patricia nicolora 153 whipple road map 9 lot 84 can i have a motion to that effect so move can i have a second okay. second mr mcmullen how do you vote aye mr sheehan mr ronan how do you vote aye mr sheehan how do you vote aye chair votes aye as well now i'll entertain a notion for a negative determination Patricia Nicoloro, 153 Whipple Road, Map 9, Lot 84. Can I have a motion to that effect? So moved. Have a second. Second. Uh, Mr. McMullen, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Ronan, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Sheehan, how do you vote? Aye. She votes aye as well. Uh, thank you. And uh, <coughs> Stefan, you want to, might want to touch base with Patricia there because we approved the negative determination. I don't want her to think that it that we refuse it, that it's approved. Yeah, I'll give her a call tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Some people don't understand that. Uh, okay. Next on the agenda is a public hearing request for determination of applicability. Susan Ferreira, 10 Hillside Road, Map 98, Lot 37. Is there anyone here for that? Yes. Okay. Can you introduce yourself for the record? Name and address, please. Katie McSheehy, 81 Park Street in Tuxbury. Okay. Uh, okay, the floor is yours. You can tell us what you're trying to do. We are trying to put a um, family suite onto the existing house. Okay. And we are around 200 feet from the river, but not sure exactly how many feet. Okay. Um, let me see. This, this is one second. 
Okay, Stefania, any issues? Um, no, no issues. I did. I went out to the site this week just to kind of take a look at everything. I talked to um, the homeowner. I recommended that if there's any fill um, that has to stay on site because it can't be removed immediately, it's, an erosion control should be um, put around it. Um, and then there were a few trees that were already removed. I mean, likely in the, I mean, more than 190 feet from the river and within the existing lawn of the yard. So um, they're likely trees that I would have approved anyways. Um, but I know the homeowner said she had a few more trees that she might need to remove that are overhanging the house. And she was going to talk about that tonight. Okay, how close are those trees? But if they're overhanging the house. Um, okay, Miss Ferreira, how close are the trees that you want to trim? Close to the house or close to the river? Close to the house. In the, oh, how close are the uh, trees to the river? Um, how long? 200 feet? Yeah, maybe maybe 200 feet. I mean, I don't know. I, they, I have a couple of really large um, pine and maple trees that have been here, and they are just <coughs> kind of leaning over my house. I have a few. And um, I'm not looking to remove them right now, but I am probably within the year looking. I'm a little nervous with the extreme storms we've had of them coming down on my home. Um, as I told Stefania, I was not aware that I had a contact this committee to have trees removed. Um, but, you know, she, so she told me to bring it up tonight. I don't know when I want to do it, but I, whether I cut them back or whether I bring them down, I guess that's something I have to decide. But, um, you know, I don't like them hanging over the house. So. Well, I can understand that. The only yeah. thing is uh, we're doing this for the, the suite. And if you're going to cut the trees down later, you're going to have to go to Stefania and get the correct distance between the riverfront and the uh, and where the trees are. Okay. So that's just that's just for future. So you yep. have the information that you will have to come back to Stefania. Okay. All right. Uh, board members, any questions? I have no questions. <clears throat> no questions, Mr. Chairman. No questions, Mr. Chairman. And I have no questions. Again, this is a public hearing. Uh, anybody wish to talk about it, just call in 978-771-0819. And we'll give it a minute to catch up. Great, Brian. You think we're caught up? I do, Mr. Chairman. Okay. So, nobody has called in, so I am going to entertain a motion to close the public hearing. So moved. Have a second. Second. Uh, Mr. McMullen, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Ronan, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Sheehan, how do you vote? Aye. Chair votes aye as well. Uh, now we're going to do a motion for a negative determination for Susan Ferreira, 10 Hillside Road, Map 98, Lot 137, uh, with the condition that if the soil stays on the premises, it is uh, erosion controls uh, used. I have a motion to that effect. Moved. Have a second. Okay. Mr. McMillan, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Ronan, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Sheehan, how do you vote? Aye. Chair votes aye as well. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. You're welcome.
Okay, now we're on to item H, which is a request for certificate of appliance. Kelly Doherty, New England Power Company, line 30, 337 338, Jitney Bus, structure for utility road between Main Street and Ginsburg Drive, map 34, lot 44, DEP number 3051090. Is there anyone here for that? Yes, Paul Martin from BSC Group here representing National Grid. Okay. The floor is yours. So um, last, uh, late last fall, there was a notice of intent filed to do soil boarding. Um, they're going to be doing some maintenance work and replacing some poles on the transmission line. And in order to determine uh, the design of the foundations and stuff, they needed the borings. Um, the boring occurred in wetland, and so the NOI filed for five square feet of um, temporary disturbance. Um, the borings were completed, and as you can see in the photos, in the request for a certificate of compliance that the area is revegetated and stabilized. Um, and we believe we've met all the requirements of the order of conditions. Okay, Stefania. I have no concerns. Okay. All right, uh, let's see what this is. This is not a public hearing. So, we need, need a motion to uh, approve the certificate of compliance for Kelly Doherty, New England Power Company, line 337, 338, Jitney Bus, Structure 4, Utility Road between Main Street and Ginsburg Drive, Map 44, Lot 44, DEP 3051090. Can I have a motion to that effect? So moved. Can I have a second? Second. Uh, Mr. McMullen, how do you vote? Uh, Mr. Ronan, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Sheehan, how do you vote? Aye. Chair votes aye as well. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you for your time. All righty. Okay. Next item is a, par a request for partial certificate of compliance. Andrew Giroux, 41 Virginia Road, Map 58, Lot 175, DEP number 305. 340, and I hope I didn't uh, mispronounce your name. Is there anyone here for that? I don't think they're joining for this one. Um, so I can give just a summary. Okay. So they're looking for a partial certificate of compliance for an outstanding order of conditions. This order of conditions is from um, the 88, so it's um, pretty old. I don't have any records in the office for this order of conditions. Um, I believe kind of from reading the order of conditions that it's for the two lots at the end of Virginia Road. So um, I'm assuming 41 and 31. Okay. Um, so, I mean, I've been to the site. There's two houses built at the end of the street. Um, I don't, um, yeah, I don't really have any um, concerns with the partial release. Okay. I just want to conditions in Massachusetts. Okay. Um, board members, any questions? No questions, Mr. Chairman. No questions. Uh, okay, and I have no questions. Okay, so I'm going to entertain a motion uh, but before I do that, do we know what lot, was it lot one or lot two on Virginia Road? I'm not sure um, because I don't have any plans to go by. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to entertain a motion for approval of the uh, partial certificate of compliance, Andrew Jeru, 41 Virginia Road, Map 58, Lot 175, DEP number 305-340, uh, with noting that it is 41 Virginia Road. And it was the order of conditions dated 
by the Tewksbury Conservation Commission on, is that a nine? Uh, I think it says September 23rd, 1988. Can I have a motion to that effect? So moved. Can I have a second? Second. Okay, Mr. Ronan, how do you, I mean, Mr. I'm getting out of order here. I lost my pencil. Um, Mr. McMillan, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Ronan, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Sheehan, how do you vote? Aye. Chair votes aye as well. All right, that one's done. Now we're on to emergency certification ratification, Cliff Water and Sewer, 89 Rogers Street, Map 34, Lot 6. I'm assuming this is a septic tank again, Satsvanya? Yep. Okay. Any questions from the board? No, no questions here. No questions. Oh. All right. I'm going to entertain a motion to uh, ratify the emergency certification of Cliff Water and Sewer, 89 Rogers Street, Map 34, Lot 6. Can I have a motion to that effect? So moved. Okay. Uh, do we have a second on that? Second. Okay. Mr. McMullen, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Ronan, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Sheehan, how do you vote? Aye. Chair votes aye as well. Next on the agenda, item K, emergency certification, ratification, clip, water, and sewer, 1022 South Street, map 109, lot 4. I'm assuming this is another septic tank? Yes. Okay, any issues? No. Okay. I'll entertain a motion to ratify the emergency certification, clip, water, and sewer, 1022 South Street, map 109, lot 4. So moved. I have a second. Mr. McMullen, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Mr. Ronan, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Sheehan, how do you vote? Aye. And chair votes aye as well. Okay, item L, emergency certification ratification, Cliff Water and Sewer, 121 Emily Road, map 110, lot 2. I am assuming this is another septic tank. Yep. Okay, any questions to any board members? No. No question. Okay. Uh, entertain a motion to ratify the emergency certification, Cliff Water and Sewer, 121 Emily Road, map 110, lot 2. Okay, I have a motion to that effect. So moved. Mr. McMullen, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Ronan, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Sheehan, how do you vote? Aye. And the chair votes aye as well. That ends that one. Okay. Last but not least. Okay, Stefania, Conservation Trust Fund request. You've got the floor. So um, I've registered for a, a training uh, for uh, transitioning to a new ArcGIS, which is kind of a mapping tool that we use in town. Um, and um, I need to be reimbursed from that, and I'm requesting it from the Conservation Trust Fund. Okay. Uh any the questions? amount was $149. Mr. Chairman. Yes. Do we have to? <laughs> you don't. <Please. laughs> it was a lot of money. <laughs> no, I have no problem at all. You know that. Okay. Uh, I think there should be a way that we should have a petty cash account, too, but that's beyond my pay grade. <laughs> so what, what, what pay? Um, okay. Uh, uh, entertain a motion to approve the Conservation Trust Fund for $149 for the class transition to ARC GIS Pro. I have a motion to that effect. So moved. I have a second. Second. Okay. Mr. McMullen, how do you vote? Aye. Uh, Mr. Ronan, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Sheehan, how do you vote? Aye. She votes aye as well. Congratulations. You're going to get your 149 large. Uh, okay. We have all business. Any any old business? <coughs> Hearing none. Any new business? Okay. Uh, Stefania, you took care of the appointments for uh, the, the CPA and the 
housing authority? Yes, I did okay. that. Okay. Um, I did ask about a new member, and I guess the Board of Selectmen has not appointed one yet. Are we having any applications? I don't know. Could you find that out? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, other than that, I have nothing. But, Mr. Ronan, you might be in charge at our next meeting because I will be down on Martha's Vineyard, and I don't know what type of reception I am going to get down there. Lucky I'm, you. Yeah, I know. I hear it's I, good. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, if I don't drop the computer in the water. Uh, so drop, throw it. I, I am in... I am in I am intending on, uh, I am planning on attending that meeting, but I just want to give you a heads up right. just in I case. I appreciate that. Okay. Any other questions or anything from board members? No, I'm good, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So move. I have a second. All right. Mr. McMullen, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Sheehan, how do you vote? Nice. Uh, Mr. Ronan, how do you vote? I figured I'd catch you off guard. <laughs> <laughs> and I was going to say, it's a nice job, Mr. Chairman. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I assume I get an eye out of you, Mr. Ronan. Aye. Okay. Your vote's eye as well. Thank you again, Brian, for your help. Um, and we'll see you in the next meeting. Sure thing, no problem.